Hi, my name is Joanne Ramsey and I am the course coordinator for the MSc and postgraduate diploma in pharmaceutical medicine in Trinity College, Dublin. Uh, the course itself is set up within the discipline for pharmacology and therapeutics in the School of Medicine. These established courses uh, have been designed to improve the knowledge and skills of healthcare professionals in the area of pharmaceutical medicine. And the course itself is aimed at the broad range of health science professionals working within the pharmaceutical healthcare area. So pharmaceutical medicine itself um, ultimately is life cycle management of medicines. It's a medical scientific discipline uh, where we focus on discovery, development, evaluation, registration, monitoring and medical aspects of marketing of medicines and medical devices for the benefit of patients and also for the benefit of public health as well. Um, and we take you full this breadth of information um, and development and regulatory and legal and ethical uh, implications through this life cycle. Um, and ultimately, at the end, you will be able to uh, outline and critically appraise the principles of the steps involved in drug discovery. Um, and also you'll be able to critically review the issues involved in undertaking clinical research project itself. Um, and you'll be able to demonstrate competency uh, in the management of all life cycles uh, of a medicine. The course, so the course is uh, run part time. Uh, we run it as a blended learning uh, environment, meaning that some is online and some we host face to face um, within here, within the Trinity Centre for Health Sciences, which is based out in St. James's Hospital site. So the postgraduate diploma is 18 months, um, which is the full taught element of the programme for those that wish to um, convert to the MSc. Uh, they complete a research project module, um, which takes up two years to complete um, the full program then. So it's 18 months for the diploma and two years for the master's. Course entry requirements are a 2-1 honours degree in either medicine or another healthcare professional degree or another relevant health science subject. So our students range from medics to pharmacists to nurses to those involved in the clinical environment to those involved in uh, pharmaceutical industry and to those from the regulatory authority. Um, so we have quite a breadth within that um, that we take onto the course. We also look for a minimum of two years postgraduate experience. That experience itself doesn't have to be within the pharmaceutical industry, um, but it can be in line with what your original um, professional degree was at the time. The course itself uh, commences in September uh, and we have intake every year for that um, for student enrollment. So as far as how the course breaks down and how we teach the um, full life cycle of the medicine development. So in year one of the program, we cover modules one to six. Uh, module one itself is looking at the initial principles of discovery. So drug screening, high throughput mechanisms. Um, but we also give you an overview of the um, main encompassment of what is pharmaceutical medicine as well. So we laid the background, we laid the foundation um, to the entire program in module one to give you um, insight into certain topics. Module two and three are looking at clinical development and clinical trials. Because of that, we teach them in parallel. Um, and really, we look at the different um, studies that are used in clinical research, the legal um, methodological and ethical issues that are involved in this. We also look at the importance of statistical analysis in clinical trials uh, and how clinical trials are reported as well. And in terms of the reporting, we also do clinic or critical appraisal of um, clinical trial publications uh, to show you and to give you that competency in how to evaluate uh, research as it's coming out. 
So in the second half of year one, we look at the non-clinical testing, uh, the pharmaceutical and the early clinical development um, that preludes the phase two, phase three trials um, as part of clinical development. So we look at how potential candidates are developed, um, how they are put into formulations that might be appropriate, um, how they are tested for toxicology testing, and all of this, how it informs forms first in human studies um, and how that lines up with our development. In module five, we give you uh, the tools and the mechanisms of how to manage the logistical aspects of research and development. So we look at clinical project management and the different areas that you need to be aware of um, and also the different tools and practicalities to be um, focused on as part of your clinical research and development. In module six, we do focus on clinical research, but we look at it in particular populations. So we look at it in pediatrics. We look at it in geriatric population. Um, we look at it from rare disease, orphan, drug status point of view. Um, so really when you're targeting specific patient profiles, um, we look at the all areas of clinical research within this module. In year two, so year two, we recommence having built the foundation in year one uh, of clinical research. We now delve more into the regulatory side of it. So module seven and module eight look at medicines, regulations and regulatory affairs, including drug safety and pharmacovigilance. So the module seven and eight, we also run these in parallel. The what you will get from these modules is the competency in how to handle all regulatory life cycle issues of medicine development. Um, they're both pre and during and post authorization uh, in various jurisdictions. So whilst we do um, look at national and EU, we also focus on non EU jurisdictions as well um, to aid you in your development, in your career and in your knowledge base as well. In module nine, we go quite in depth in drug safety. We look at pharmacoepidemiology um, and how this is used to evaluate drug safety. Uh, we look at pharmacovigilance and risk management. So how that informs our drug safety profile, uh, what risk minimization features might be put in place and the importance of drug safety monitoring throughout the life cycle of a medicine itself. In module 10, we look at the more novel therapies that are coming through. So we look at biologicals and biosimilars. We look at ATMPs, gene therapies, uh, vaccines. So as part of this module, we look at the legal and regulatory implications, but we also look at the ethical side of it as well um, and look at the practical issues that can relate to development of these medicines um, and how the regulatory provisions can be applied to them. Um, so we look at the different aspects involved within this. Module 11 and 12, so the final two modules of the programme, we look at health economics um, and the healthcare marketplace and economics of healthcare. So in these, we look at the principles governing um, cost effectiveness of medicines, reimbursement of medicines, how that works, um, the procedures put in place for cost effectiveness, um, the assessments that are used and how they are designed as well. Um, we also look at the legal and ethical principles that govern uh, pharmaceutical industry and healthcare professionals. So we get a full, we've come now full cycle towards the marketplace and how that is approached as part of um, our life cycle development. And all in all, having covered these modules, you will be competent in managing all aspects of the life cycle management of a medicine. And that would conclude the diploma part of the programme. For those that wish to progress to the MSc, we have the research project module. So the research project module occurs at the end of the 12 modules taught programme. So at the end of year two. Um, this comes in and 
really we encourage students um and embrace all that they to embrace all that they've learned to generate a primary piece of research um and this could be from any level the breadth of the course um it could also be something that interests the students themselves it could be something that within the course has kind of piqued interest with them or something within their own environment with their own working environment that they're interested in they learn more about on the course and now they want to study further as part of their research project with that we also um, have students prepare their own project proposal um, and exactly how they're going to time manage that proposal themselves and they get feedback on it um, before coming to a final project scope that they work within for their research um, you will also be assigned a research supervisor. So the research supervisor is from our course management committee um, who are highly experienced personnel within the length and breadth of pharmaceutical medicine. Um, so they really have the expertise to guide these research projects and to help you achieve ultimately your best that you can. Um, before you commence, we do have research project workshops um, and a few different lectures and seminars and things to help you along the way and guidelines. So you're not completely left, but you do have ownership over the project itself. Um, but we help you and guide you along that way. So the course itself is designated by PharmaTrain Federation as an accredited centre of excellence. Um, so PharmaTrain initially commenced in 2009. They were um, support from the European Commission uh, and from the European Federation of Pharmaceutical Industries and Associations Companies. Um, and the set up now is moved towards the PharmaTrain Federation, which is a network of public and private partners, um, initially in the EU, but now it's getting much more global. Uh, and really, they provide the highest recognition available for medicine development training. Um, so Trinity has been noted as a centre of excellence by PharmaTrain themselves. Uh, pharmaceutical medicine is also a recognised speciality, medical specialism within Ireland, and it has been since 2005. Um, we uh, are recognised by them as offering the postgraduate course. Um, we are recognised by the members of the higher specialist training um, that our course meets the competencies as part of the medical development programme there. And also our course is recognised uh, by the Association of Pharmaceutical Physicians of Ireland. So we have a high level of acknowledgement and recognition within Ireland for the course and for what we provide within the profession itself. So really, that leads me to, again, into the benefits of the course, some of which I've highlighted. But in addition to this, the teaching and support that you get on our course is from experts in the field. Uh, indeed, some of our graduates actually come back to teach on the course and impart their knowledge. Uh, but they also impart their career progression uh, since doing the course and what effect it has had for them. Uh, we deliver via a blended learning approach. So we deliver via online learning. We also have some in-class face-to-face uh, -face teaching um, where we do have lectures, but we also run workshops. Uh, we look at case study development as well uh, in various aspects of the life cycle. And really, this is to develop key skills for yourselves um, so you gain the full competencies in pharmaceutical medicine. Uh, we also look at evidence-based medicine. We look at critical appraisal of papers and publications as well. So you can evaluate the field um, as it progresses each and every day and have the skills and knowledge to do that. As part of that, we also have uh, site visits. So we visit clinical and research sites as part of the course. Um, this is very important aspect to um, our course as well, because you get to actually see the environment that you're learning about, uh, which ultimately is really, really important to give context to the information that you're getting. We 
pride ourselves on our graduates and where they are and what they have achieved. And really what we see is our graduates, they have either transitioned into, uh, assumed or extended their position, their current role, um, or able to progress to a higher role or a changed role within the pharmaceutical industry, within the regulatory authority and other relevant areas within the healthcare system. Um, and our course is credited by them, uh, by our graduates, as having helped them in that transition or that progression within their career that they were looking for. So if this sounds like the course for you, if it's something you're interested in or if you would actually like to query it further, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Uh, our course is hosted within the pharmacology and therapeutic uh, web pages on the School of Medicine on Trinity's website. Um, additionally, you can also email me uh, at ramseyj at tcd.ie. I am on Twitter as well, as my handle is Ramsey underscore JM. Uh, I am available through all means of communication on that. And I'd be more than happy to discuss the course with you and discuss how we can help you in your career and career progression. So thank you very much for your time.